Hello, once again, it's you 4000. Um, yeah, I just got back from going out to eat with my mom and my brother, and uh, I'm really full, so if I end up barfing you, uh, barfing on you, I apologize ahead of time. Uh, that's disgusting, isn't it? Sorry. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you something serious, you know, if you would pray for my grand, my grandpa. He lives in Seattle. Um, he has to have a triple bypass heart surgery, and uh, that's serious at any age, but especially at his age. Um, I forget exactly how old he is. I told my mom that she should be in this video because she knows more than I do, but for some reason she didn't really want to be in the video. Um, he's like 70 or 80 something. Uh, maybe 82, I'm guessing, and so it's serious, you know. I remember when we went up to Seattle to visit him uh, last May, so nearly a year ago, um, he was about to have heart surgery in June, serious heart surgery, and he wasn't supposed to even be moving around, you know, but he he wasn't following orders pretty much you know and he's just walking around and you know doing work in the yard and he wouldn't listen you know he was supposed to just be resting but he didn't want to do it and um so we we're everybody was kind of worried about him you know and i guess long story short the heart surgery that he had ended up not working and so they have to do it again uh, except this time triple bypass and um yeah a lot of people are you know everybody's kind of thinking that he might end up dying from it you know so just pray that God has his way with it you know and um yeah I just thought it was time like to ask everyone to pray about it. He's basically the center of their universe. All of my relatives up in Seattle. My mom my mom's uh three brothers all live in Seattle as well. And uh we have a lot of family up there and it's all kind of centered around going to grandpa's. You know, grandpa, grandpa you know, so if he dies, they're just going to be devastated. But, so if you'd pray, his name is Gene. Gene. So if you'll pray, then it'd be much appreciated. Also, thank you for the nice emails, you know, about my last videos. Um,. But every time I talk about something serious, people start to kind of worry about me that I'm, you know, in a depression or something. It's not that I'm depressed about it. You know, I rarely think, uh, as far as the rape thing goes, I rarely think about it anymore. You know, it's been six years, and so I've had time to move on. It's just, when I do think about it, it just brings all that back and how horrible it was that time in my life. and. It, so it makes me emotional and it's just hard to talk about because I've I haven't really talked about it that much like ever I especially never even hardly mention it now so doing a you know a whole video about it was difficult but it's something that I felt needed to be done and maybe should have been done a long time ago anyway if it helps somebody or makes someone out there feels like feel like they're not as alone then you know it was worth it and I just wanted to give a testimony about what God brought me through cuz you know we we get confused on the difference between God 
uh, allowing us to go through something and God making us go through something and uh, me and Joandra and Al was talking about this and we're talking you know she was talking about how when we go through bad times it's kind of you know like a lesson you know just you know like I said in the video just gives us more compassion towards others who are going through that and we like Joe Andrews said kinda develop been there done that kinda thing when we hear something someone's going through and so we're able to help them more and tell them you know or give them advice because we've been through it if we never been through anything and our lives were just perfect it'd be hard to have compassion for anybody you know or not really not have compassion but just not understand you know but anyway I just want to let everybody know that it's not that I'm in a depression you know it was just a hard thing to bring up you know it brought past emotions but it's not that I'm still like dwelling on it now you know I just wanted to help people but anyway, uh, basically what this video was about was to ask you to pray for my grandpa and uh, to thank everybody for, you know, their nice emails and their comments so far. I think my mom is going to do a video soon because she hasn't done a video since she talked about going to the concert in Oklahoma. And I was kind of wanting to do a video, like, showing my brother because I've only shown him like once and he, you know some people are kind of curious about, you know, my brother because he's kind of a mystery and so I don't know if he'll do it because he's not really as into plastering his face all over YouTube as I am but maybe he'll do it he probably really won't know what to say but I can, maybe I can get him to just come in and say hi or whatever. We'll see. Okay, well, thank you very much, and um, please continue to pray. Okay, bye.